Hey, it's Zach here with Hikes. We've got another boot comparison video for you. Today, we're gonna to talk about the Air Power XR200 and the Air Power XR26. Let's start off with how these two boots are alike. Both have composite toe protection. Both have a Gore-Tex Performance waterproof liner, and that's gonna add a little bit more insulation than a standard Gore-Tex liner. Both have a non-metallic puncture plate built into the sole. Both boots have the Hikes Arch Support System for optimum foot support. A heat resistant, slip resistant sole, which is fuel, oil, and skid resistant. This keeps your feet insulated from hot and cold ground surfaces. Both have the built-in Hikes Climate System to keep your foot temperature regulated. Both are also certified ASTM F2413 and to Canada's CANCSA Z195 Grade 1 for toe protection, as noted by the visible green label. And both are tested and certified EH rated. Now we'll talk about the differences between these two boots. There's only a slight difference in height between the two, whereas the XR200 stands 7 inches tall and the XR26 is 6 inches tall. The XR200 has added para-aramid cut protection to European Cut Protection Class 1, which is tested at 20 meters a second. It also has the added orange laces and orange on the leather to give it more visibility, especially when you're working with chainsaws. Both the XR26 and the XR200 are made of bullhide nubuck leather. In order to create a nubuck leather, the outer hide of the leather is sanded, which gives it a slight napped finish. And while nubuck leather looks similar to suede, it's actually a whole lot more durable than suede itself. The XR200 is slightly different than the XR26 in that the nubuck additionally undergoes a nourishing oil treatment, which in effect combines the soft service of a nubuck with the durability of an oiled leather. And this type of leather is relatively easy to maintain and that light scuffs can be easily polished out by using your finger. Both have a TPU rubber toe cap. The only difference is the color is black on the XR200 and it's brown on the XR26. The XR200 has the flex protection system on the back heel. It's an additional piece of leather that protects the softer, flexible leather from chafing. And the XR26 has leather lacing loops at the base of the lacing system near the tongue. This keeps the lacing in place to prevent the tongue from sliding side to side. The XR200 also has our two-zone lacing system, which you can adjust depending on the different type of terrain you might be on. For instance, if you're walking uphill, you may want to have the bottom part tight and the upper part of your lace is a little bit looser. Now, if you're going downhill, you probably want to have them both tight to keep your foot from sliding around. Be sure to check out the info on these two boots below and subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date on more videos like this one. That's all for today. Everyone take care. Stay safe.